In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your Gen 4 display on your combine to be ready to document your harvest data. This video will focus on Generation 4 displays, so if you're using an earlier generation, the setup process will be different, but they'll still collect data for you. In order to document data correctly, you need to make sure that you have your work setup information defined in the right way. If you've created a setup file in the Operation Center, this is a quick selection process as the setup data will be transferred wirelessly to the Gen 4 using JD Link. If not, you can also create new information on the display, and this will be covered in this video. From your main run page on the Generation 4 screen, navigate to the Work Setup app. Either through the shortcut bar at the bottom left, or if you don't have it there, go to your menu on the bottom right and you'll find the Work Setup app under the Applications tab. If this is not in your shortcut bar, go to your main menu, then Applications. The Work Setup app contains all the information required to start documenting your operational data. First, we need to define our work location by selecting the right client farm and field information. To do this, press on the location area of the app at the top left. If you had already sent a setup file to the display, your fields would automatically be displayed here for you to select from. If a field boundary is available, you will see the field closest to your current location at the top. In this case, we will not use the information from a setup file, but create our location information manually. To do this, click to view all at the bottom left. Under the Client tab, press Edit Clients and then New Client. Note that the client selection is optional and doesn't need to be done to start documentation. If you are contracting, it makes sense to enter the correct client's name to be able to sort your data correctly, for billing for example. If you are a farmer, you will most likely skip this and just enter your own farm name. Then go to the Farm tab on the left and press Edit Farms and then New Farm. Enter a name and click Save on the pop-up that appears. Finally, under the Field tab, press New Field. Give the field a name and click OK. Note that a boundary is not required, but we highly recommend doing it to ensure a proper documentation. Confirm your creation in the pop-up by clicking Save and press OK to complete the location section with the selected client, farm and field. The location information is now saved in the Work Setup app and will be available for any further actions. Please note that you can do these steps already up front in the Operation Center to speed up the process. Next, you can review your machine and harvest settings and adjust them if needed. Pressing on the Equipment section of the Work Setup app presents you with any current machine profiles. If you have a John Deere harvester, the machine profile will be populated automatically with the correct information. Review the machine profile and confirm that the name and type of the machine is accurate and the GPS offsets and header information are correct. It is important to make sure all measurements and offsets are accurate as this will impact on the performance of auto track guidance. Click Save to return to your equipment profile list. Next, you can review additional header settings in the equipment list. Here, we recommend checking your record stop height of the header. This is important for your documentation, as this affects the automatic stop of your work recording according to your header height. Now you have the option to adjust your crop-specific information. Select your crop type from the drop-down list. Then, choose your variety and enter the name. Note that setting up the correct variety type gives you the possibility to document and analyze yield differences depending on the varieties. And check if harvest units are correct. In the last step, you can review your harvest setup. Here you have the possibility to change settings such as threshing or straw conditions and you can change your outside machine configuration. Your work setup is now complete and you're ready to start documenting your harvest.
On your main Guidance Run page, you'll notice your location displayed on the top left-hand side. Your track spacing is at the top right, underneath your currently selected Guidance Track. Work recording begins automatically when you lower your header and start harvesting in the field. The work recording light will go green on the shortcut bar indicating this, and you will see your coverage appearing on the map module in blue. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.